What's going on, you guys? So Matrix Games announced another K Project game. Now, if you're not guys not familiar with K Project, it's basically Slytherins and Matrix Games program where they invite you to pitch your game to Slytherin and Matrix. Now, if they like the game, they will fund it and publish it. So it's a huge, incredible program. In fact, I'm actually developing a little pitch of myself. So uh, I'll let you guys know about that more later. But anyway, they announced a new game called ICBM. We are proud to announce our partnership with Soft Warware in development of ICBM, the third in the title to be published under the K Project label. ICBM is a real-time strategy game of nuclear destruction. Research new technologies, build new Build up your nuclear stockpile and use a combination of ships, planes, and missiles strike at the heart of your opponent's cities while keeping your population safe from harm. Ooh, I like this. Prepare for war. Take command of one of the continents of the world and prepare yourself for global nuclear conflict. It is your job to ensure the complete and total destruction of your enemies while you do all in your power to prevent enemy retaliation against your peace-loving citizens. Will you focus on developing new technologies or mass-producing existing ones? It takes a true strategist to research and build a balanced force that can deal with a multitude of enemy tactics. So there's going to be single-player online modes, first fight against uh, advanced AI in a single-player face up to six human opponents in online multiplayer mode, play in a free-for-all, fixed teams or co-op games, all while improving the ELO score as you climb the leaderboards, form alliances, but remember that betrayal is always an option when like that. Like in the Cold War age, there are no reliable allies. Yeah, I have a tendency to do that with my friends <laughs> We play board games and I... <laughs> I do a little uh, Operation Barbarossa kind of thing. Full modding support up for something different. ICBM comes with full modding support out of the box. That's great. I love, love that. You know, I'm not surprised because Slytherin and Matrix is known for that. Pretty much all their games offer either a scenario editor, a campaign editor, uh, allow for modding, and it's just, it's incredible because it just extends the playability of the game. All right, let's take a look at this. Whoa, that's a lot of nuclear clouds there. A lot of bombs going on. So it looks like you're going to be controlling air forces because you can see planes right there. You're going to be controlling naval forces. I don't see any land forces. So it's primarily those two. You got some anti, well, SAM batteries there. You got like a tech tree going on. I do like this, that you could zoom out and zoom back in. That's pretty cool. And it looks like you're controlling a continent. So it's more like, I, I, I'm assuming it's more like risk, right? So you either take control of Africa, North America, South America, Asia, Middle East. So, all right, let's take a look at the trailer. A wise man once said, if you desire peace, prepare for war. And so we did. Whole economies dedicated to military technology. Decades of research. Thousands of our greatest minds searching for the ultimate weapon. Governments striving for dominance, each needing to be the most powerful, the most threatening, the most feared. But deep down, we knew it was just a game. A cold war. We knew it could never happen. We were wrong. Alright, so that was interesting. This game kind of reminds me of like DEFCON. I don't know if you guys remember playing that game. It came out years ago. And yeah, it reminds me a lot of DEFCON. So I'm, I'm looking... Uh, looks like somebody beat me to it here. Siren. <laughs> DEFCON deserves good spiritual successor. Nice, yeah. And you know, honestly, it does feel like that. But it feels like... And I said this before on multitude of games. But it feels like DEFCON on steroids. You know, DEFCON was a basic... Uh, basic map right and it kind of went you know it kind of made you deploy your forces and then there was a timer and went to defcon one and everybody blew each other up this one right here it looks like there's a tech tree on here so that's pretty cool so you can kind of invest in 
ICBM Research or SSBNs. So I'm looking forward to this. I want to see, this is the tech tree here. And you got like science and construction, espionage. So espionage is going to be a factor in the game. That's pretty cool. I like that. I really like that there's like a 3D aspect to this. I like that. There was nothing like that on DEF CON. It was basically like a plain blue map, right? And it's very fluid from what I saw in this game here. So that's pretty cool. So looking forward to this game. I'm curious when it's going to come out, hopefully 2020. But yeah, I'm really ex pumped that Southern and Matrix is pumping out so many K Project games. This is their third. Love it, man. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. Catch you in the next one.